sanctuary cities and sanctuary states. They want to welcome them in until they actually do come in. And then when they come in, they say, no, 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 we don't want them here. This is a real burden on New Yorkers as we're trying to do the right thing. Uh, we already, as I stated, we already have an overburdened shelter system. So now we're talking about, as you stated, food, clothing, school. This is going to impact our, uh, our schools because we do not turn away individuals because they're undocumented. Uh, translation services, there's just a whole host of things that this is going to produce and that's why we need, we need help. Okay, so in the last three months, 800,000 illegal immigrants, or should I say migrants, <laughs> the family friendly work, 800,000 have crossed the southern border into Texas, Arizona, New Mexico. And these are just the reported encounters. It could be hundreds of thousands more. We really don't know the number, but basically a large city's work, more than a large city's work of illegal immigrants every quarter of the year. So you have a couple of million of them coming in annually. And why is this? What's the main reason for this to be happening? Joe Biden, Joe Biden's soft policies at the border, Joe Biden's catch and release policies. Anybody can come up and say, oh, I'm seeking asylum, even though I'm trying to go back on vacation during the holidays, I'm seeking asylum because it's so dangerous and they're trying to kill me. So you just let me into the country. <laughs> but we know these people are really economic migrants and the Democrats know these people are economic migrants. Joe Biden's handlers know these people are economic migrants, but they have a larger goal. Their goal is to turn Texas purple and in the long run, turn Texas blue like they did California. So if they can flood Texas with millions of illegal immigrants, have them stay down there in South Texas, have Texas deal with the brunt of the problem and the cost of the problem, then in the long run, they're banking on the fact that these Latinos, because most of these illegal immigrants are Latinos, will vote two out of three Democrat and eventually Texas is going to be blue. So that's one of the reasons why they're mad about them being pushed up to Chicago, Denver, New York, DC, Martin's Vineyard, because they need them to stay in these red areas. They need these red states to turn blue. That's another reason why Joe Biden was flying them to Tennessee and other red states, because he needs them to infiltrate these red states and turn them purple and eventually blue. And another reason, of course, these white guilt liberals hate themselves and they are happy. Every decade we'll get the census report about the white population declining. They sit here celebrating. Hey, look, it's less white people. Yay. So they want to accelerate that process by reducing the white population flooding the country with Latinos and Asians and Africans, of course, more so Latinos. But that's the plan. And Greg Abbott pissed them off because Greg Abbott single handedly crushed them. He crushed the Democrats. He destroyed their goal. He set the Democrat agenda on fire. And how did they do this? He said, you know what? For decades, we've dealt with this, but if you don't want to close the border, you want to flood Texas with illegal immigrants. I'm going to put these illegal immigrants on buses and on planes, and I'm going to send them to these Democrat areas. I'm going to send them to these sanctuary cities who club to love illegal immigrants because they're far away from the border. So <laughs> this guy, has the Democrats on their knees. He has Chicago and New York City on their knees. He has just completely exposed their hypocrisy. So now New York City, Chicago, Denver, places like that, they're dealing with thousands, hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants enjoying all types of free stuff at the taxpayer dime. These New York City, Chicago taxpayers are paying for luxury hotels, for video games, for new phones, computers. They're paying for months and months of rent for these illegal immigrants. And we have these illegal immigrants on TikTok and Instagram making videos bragging about how much free stuff they're getting. So let's take a look at them enjoying some of their free stuff. $3 billion. And as more people come, the cost continues to go up. The issue for New York is that they're not only dealing with newly arrived migrants, they're dealing with folks that have already been in New York City housing and are now being reticketed. So all of these folks already had free housing here in New York, and then they were given eviction notices, essentially, 30 or 60 day notices telling them that they have to re they have to leave their shelter. But because this is a sanctuary city, housing is guaranteed. So if they wait in line, they can reapply and then be rehoused. And what you're seeing is this line, which around the corner and it has been this long all day long.
I, I don't feel safe. I don't know. I'm paying a lot of taxes for my salary. And I'm completely transparent to IRS and everything. So I think it's enough what we already pay, you know, for them to support if we call ourselves a sanctuary city. Have you seen anything like this happening in your neighborhood before? No, haven't seen. No. Do you have any message for President Biden and Mayor Adams? Secure the border. That, that, that's the only message. Secure the border. Yeah, going to door to door is crazy, man. These people are panhandling big time. They're not just standing at the gas stations anymore. They are knocking on doors, and a lot of them are sending little children out because they're cute. So they want to get more sympathies. So send little kids to knock door to door and ask for some money. <laughs> but things are continuing to heat up because now we're going to look at this article here of Texas being sued. The Texas bus companies that Greg Abbott has been using, they're being sued by New York City. Eric Adams, who talked all this crap about how great New York is. New York is a brand. Kansas sucked. We're the best city in the world. We love illegal immigrants. We're going to be a sanctuary city forever. He talked all this crap, but now, since he can't get the money from the feds, he wants the bus companies in Texas to pay $700 million. This man has lost his rabbit-ass mind. <laughs> New York City is seeking more than $700 million from Texas charter bus companies to cover the cost of housing and caring for migrants who have been transported to the city, according to the lawsuit filed Thursday. The lawsuit is intended to cover past shelter, food, and health care costs for migrants transported from Texas, as well as future costs of migrants already here and migrants who may be transported in the future, according to the mayor's office. The city said that more than 33,600 migrants have already been transported to New York from Texas. <laughs> so you want Texas to pay the cost to be a sanctuary city? Texas isn't a sanctuary state. These bus companies have been contracted by the government in Texas to just give rise to these people. These immigrants willfully go. They say, look, I want to go to New Ever York. New Ever York is supposed to be the place to be. And you said, come one, come all. You said you're going to take care of them. And these illegal immigrants are sending videos back of PlayStations and luxury hotels and free laundry service. So more are coming. So how in the hell are you going to open your doors, open your arms to some illegal immigrants and then ask for somebody else to pay for it? You sound ridiculous, man. And I don't even see how the hell his lawyers would even go along with this. Why would they even tell him that this is feasible? I mean, they're probably just yes men getting paid, I guess. The Adams administration has been trying to navigate ways to stem the tide of buses bringing migrants to the city. Wait a minute, I thought you loved them. You're trying to stop buses from coming in? So do you want them here or do you not want them here? Because your actions show that you don't want them there. Just like you're giving them free flights to anywhere in the world. You come to New York, get a free flight to anywhere in the world. It sounds like you want them to get the hell out as soon as possible. But then your mouth, you're saying you want them there, but your actions show, hell no, you don't want them there. <laughs> and the mayor said he hopes the lawsuit serves as a warning for future transports. Wow. New York City has and will always do our part to manage this humanitarian crisis. Wait a minute. Kamala Harris says it's not a crisis. <laughs> so are you contradicting her? <laughs> but we cannot bear the cost of reckless political ploys from the state of Texas alone, Adam said in a statement. How is it a reckless ploy? These people come here to Texas. They say, I don't want to be in these raggedy border towns. We've already destroyed these towns after decades of illegal immigration. So now we need to go to the big city. We need to go to New Ever York. They're giving out free stuff. We can go to downtown New Ever York and get a $500 a night hotel with a brand new PlayStation. So, of course, they're lining up for that. How is it a ploy when he's saying, oh, you want to go to New York? Here's a free ticket. How is that a ploy? <laughs> so, are you trying to say Texas should hold these people prisoner and keep them down there in South Texas against their will? Don't let them go to New York? Today, we are taking legal action against 17 companies that have taken part in Texas. Governor Abbott's scheme to transport tens of thousands of migrants to New York City in an attempt to overwhelm our social services. <laughs> Greg Abbott said Adam is interfering. Here it is. Adams is interfering with the migrants' constitutional authority to travel. This lawsuit is baseless and deserves to be sanctioned. It's clear that Mayor Adams knows nothing about the Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution or about the constitutional rights to travel that have been recognized by the U.S. Supreme Court. 
every migrant bus or flown to New York City did so voluntarily after having been authorized by the Biden administration to remain in the United States out of citizen statement. What else do you need us to tell you? That's it right there. Joe Biden told these illegal immigrants using Border Patrol, using his asylum clause, his loophole to get these people in here, giving these people the right to seek asylum and to catch and release them, stay in the country until they get their court dates. He used his federal authority to authorize these illegal immigrants to stay in the country, even against the will of a state like Texas. He authorized them to stay in the United States. And since they're authorized to stay in the United States by the president, they have the freedom to travel throughout the United States until their court date, which is like 10 years from now. So if these people have been authorized by Joe Biden to stay in the United States, they have free reign to travel to Chicago, to travel to New York. And if Eric Adams wants to stop that, then he needs to take that up with Joe Biden. In December, Adams announced an executive order requiring charter buses to only drop off migrants between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and noon on weekdays and only at a specific location. <laughs> West 41st Street by the Port Authority bus terminal or face fines. The order also required a notice period of 32 hours before arriving in the city. So he wants Texas to tell them who's coming, how many people on the buses, how many buses you come here during these weekdays. So you want to have control of the situation. But here's the thing. These people flood the border and they duck Greg Adam. They duck the Texas Rangers because they don't want to be seen. Or they just flood the country and go to the Border Patrol station and claim asylum. Texas doesn't get a warning for this. They don't come Monday through Friday at from 8.30 to noon. They say, oh, well, we arrived. It's, it's Sunday night. We can't come. We got to wait a few hours. No, they just come in when they come in. The Texas has no idea who these people are, has no names, has no criminal history, has no health history of these people. They just come in and say, surprise, mf -er, we're here. But now in New York, who claims to love these asylum seekers, to love illegal immigration, they want a warning. They want to know how many, and they only want it to happen on weekdays because they don't want to work weekends. Oh, hell no. It doesn't work like that. No, 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 no. In order to thwart the order and take advantage of a loophole, charter buses were dropping off migrants in New Jersey cities before they boarded a train to New York, according to the mayor of Chicago. Yeah, because New York is over here trying to find bus companies in Chicago. They go on as far as towing and pounding bus companies. So he said, look, we'll be right here on the border of New Jersey, New York. Look, just get on this train right here 10 minutes and you're in New York. What, they going to they gonna impound the train? They're going to find the subway company? Oh, no. So, good luck with that. A spokesman for New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy, said the administration is working with federal and local partners, including New York City. That sounds like a bunch of nothing. Our administration has tracked the recent arrival of a handful of buses of migrant families at various New Jersey transit train stations, said Tyler Jones, Deputy Press Secretary for Murphy, in a statement. New Jersey is primarily being used as a transit point for these families. All or nearly all of them continue with their travels en route to their final destination of New York City. So New Jersey is happy. They're like, look, y'all can, you know, give us some business. You know, the bus drivers, you come in, y'all got to stop and get some gas, go to the store or something. So you guys are boosting the New Jersey economy because you're going to get your gas, you're going to get your snacks and stuff. But the migrants, they're going to go straight to New York. So we'll get a little financial bump from it, from your stop here. <laughs> and we don't have to deal with the influx of migrants. So it would be in New Jersey's best interest to just welcome this. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll help you out with that. New York want to be on that BS. In a lawsuit, the city accuses the bus companies of acting in bad faith by profiting off of migrants to the city. Well, no, they're just government contractors. <laughs> The city said many of the companies have been targeted in the lawsuit are the same companies that are now evading compliance with the executive order by busing migrants to New Jersey train stations. <laughs> New York City Governor Kathy Hochul says she supports New York City's lawsuit. NBC News has reached out to the bus companies named in the lawsuit for any government. So you brought this on yourself, New York. Eric Adams, you're desperate. We understand that you're trying your best. You went to the federal rallies groveling a couple of times, begging for money. They gave you $150 million out of a $12 billion ask, <laughs> a fraction of a fraction of the amount that you actually need. But here's the thing. Get rid of sanctuary city status. In fact, put it up for a vote. Like they tried to put it up for a vote over there in Chicago, but then the Democrat leaders blocked it <laughs> because they know the Chicago voters will say hell no to being a sanctuary city. And the same thing might happen in New York. But you guys want to look good. For these leftists, for the rich leftists, the leftist elite, the DNC is telling y'all this is the policy that you need to follow, that you need to 
remain a sanctuary city. So you got to bear the cost of this. You're doing a 15% budget cut across the board throughout New York. You got to tell your New York voters that it's costing billions of dollars and they're paying for it. <laughs> that migrants, illegal immigrants are getting free rent while they have to pay thousands of dollars, have to pay two, three thousand dollars for a roached up crime ridden studio <laughs> in New York. So it's crazy. Good luck, Eric Adams. Ha ha, too bad, so sad. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.